what I'm going to show you to do is on the venture theme, take the logo up top here in your header and put it right next to your navigation menu. It's pretty simple to do. It's something that a lot of folks would like to know how to do. That's what we're going to cover. The first thing that we'll want to, to do is go into our theme files here, click on online store themes. Let me refresh my page here. Perfect. We have the venture theme. Let's go ahead and edit code. Where we'll want to go is our sections folder, click into header. Let's go and find where that section is. And you can see this div item right here, or this grid item, this is actually your logo happening. And if you have an image for your logo, this is what is generated. But we want to move this. We want to move this again down to where the navigation is. If we scroll all the way down here, you can see this is the list. That's where the menu is. I'm going to create another grid item right here. And put this right before that menu. So make a div. Starting on line 150 here, class equals grid item. And this is going to be, let's just make this two eighths. All right. Now, the thing about this, and this is tricky, is let's just put an h1 tag just to show you. If we do that, we save it. Let's refresh. Oh, I'll have to preview this. Let me go back and re preview it from inside here. Here we are. Notice how we put an H1 tag in there, but we're not seeing it. Now this part's a little bit tricky because what we'll have to do is we'll have to go, let me just go and edit our code here. And back in our header where we added our own grid item, what you need to do is you need to class site nav link you need to add this site nav link and i believe that's what it is it's not it's right here this is what we want let's scroll up back here this is what we want right here site hyphen nav two underscores link now if we refresh there we see our code right there it's rendering our link or our h1 tag All we have to do is go up and grab this image, this logo image. And if we just grab this right here, that should be enough. Scroll down. Where is our H1 tag? We'll surround it in our H1 tag. Just like that. We could re-indent this. Now if we save this, refresh, there goes our logo right next to the navigation here. Now you'll see that we have two of these and we could simply delete it. If we wanted to, we could delete this top one. And if we removed it, what would happen is, let me show you. If we remove this, I'm going to inspect this. Here's what will happen. As your view here gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Notice how now we don't see anything. We don't see your logo. What this is doing up top here is it allows you, it's just more mobile friendly. It allows you to see the logo when your screen gets too small. So when somebody's on their phone, on their iPad, whatever it is, you still see that logo. So instead of just getting rid of it, I'm going to add another class. Let me just go and find, find in our header here, 
we see that the h1 tag is right here all we have to do is add another class right here and there's a class called medium up hide I'm just going to copy this medium up right here go with it where that h1 tag is hide now if we refresh it's gone we see that it's gone it's no longer there but our icons to the right here still work and what will happen is when the screen resolution gets smaller and smaller and smaller it will now pop up makes it more responsive more user-friendly we maintain the integrity of the theme and what it's trying to do except that all we did was we wanted to when it gets large enough we wanted to have this logo to the left of our navigation menu and that's it that's how you add or move your logo on the venture theme and put it on the same line as your navigation menu.